post-operative instructions, bone grafting, sinus lift. Do not disturb the wound. Avoid rinsing, spitting, or touching the wound on the day of surgery. Be as gentle as you can around the bone grafting area. Try to maintain all graft material at the surgical site. Bleeding. Some bleeding or redness in the saliva is normal for 24 hours. Excessive bleeding, your mouth fills up rapidly with blood, can be controlled by biting on a gauze pad placed directly on the bleeding wound for 30 minutes. Change the gauze pad every 30 minutes as needed. If excessive bleeding continues, please call for further instructions. In general, use as little pressure as is needed. Remove gauze when it is no longer needed. Swelling. Swelling is a normal occurrence after surgery. To minimize swelling, apply an ice pack or a plastic bag or towel filled with ice to the cheek in the area of surgery. Apply the ice continuously as much as possible for the first 24 to 36 hours. Swelling generally reaches a peak in 24 to 36 hours and then subsides over the next three to five days. If swelling begins to increase after the third post-operative day, please contact your doctor immediately. Diet. Drink plenty of fluids. Avoid hot liquids or foods. Soft foods and liquids should be consumed on the day of surgery. Keep all solid food away from the surgical site. Pain. You should begin taking pain medication prior to the local anesthetic wearing off. For moderate pain, one or two extended release Tylenol, 325 milligrams, or two Aleve may be taken every eight hours. No more than 2,600 milligrams per 24 hour period. Ibuprofen, Advil, or Motrin may be taken instead of Tylenol. Ibuprofen bought over the counter comes in 200 milligram tablets. Three to four tablets may be taken every four to six hours as needed for pain. No more than 3,200 milligrams per 24 hour period. For severe pain, the prescribed medication should be taken as directed. Please note, if this prescription has Tylenol, APAP in it, see the above comments. Do not take any of the above medication if you are allergic or have been instructed by your doctor not to take it. This may include patients with liver or kidney disease. Antibiotics. Be sure to take the prescribed antibiotics as directed to help prevent infection. Oral hygiene. Good oral hygiene is essential for good healing. If you are given a prescription for Paradex Oral Rinse, rinse for 30 seconds and spit twice per day. Do not brush the two adjacent teeth on either side of the graft site for the first seven days. After seven days, you may gently brush the tooth surfaces of the adjacent teeth as long as the bristles don't disturb the graft site. You may floss normally, starting the day of surgery, if comfortable. Activity. Keep physical activities to a minimum immediately following surgery. If you are exercising, throbbing or bleeding may occur. If this occurs, you should discontinue exercising. Keep in mind that you are probably not taking normal nourishment. This may weaken you and further limit your ability to exercise. Wearing your prosthesis. Partial dentures, flippers, or full dentures should not be used immediately after surgery. You may wear these prostheses as soon as it is comfortable, but only if the prosthesis doesn't touch the graft site. Sinus lift. If you've undergone a sinus lift in preparation for dental implants, please follow these specific instructions. The treatment was performed to increase the height of bone available for your implants. It is imperative that you follow the instructions listed below carefully to maximize your healing and improve the long-term outcome of your dental implants. Do not blow your nose for 14 days, as the pressure will delay or damage your sinus healing. If you have to sneeze, do not hold back. Sneeze out. Open your mouth and try to minimize the pressure in your nasal sinus passages. You may use nasal decongestants such as over-the-counter Sudafed tablets or Afrin nasal spray to keep your passages dry, especially if you have noticed continued drainage or feel the need to blow your nose. Take the antibiotics prescribed by your doctor until they are finished, even if you feel fine. They protect the surgical site from infection. 
Also, one or two servings of yogurt or an acidophilus probiotic tablet are recommended daily to reduce gastrointestinal complications such as diarrhea. Do not drink through a straw. This creates suction which may damage a healing clot. You may drink out of a cup or bowl or use a spoon. Do not smoke because smoking reduces the blood flow, contaminates the healing wound and frequently leads to infections.